What's happening, everybody? So today I want to come to you with a short little video to give you my, my overall impressions on the first day of using a doTERRA product. Uh, today I am just using the, the doTERRA lemon. And now this is, uh, you add this to your water. Uh, it's a one drop for every four ounces. And so what I did was about a week before I started using this product, I started using regular lemons because I wanted to kind of give an, get an idea of what it would be like if I just used straight lemons as opposed to using an essential oil. Uh, because, you know, obviously I knew there was going to be a change that it was going to make. And so I wanted to see, you know, the difference between what can I get from just squeezing a straight lemon, which is extremely expensive, by the way, uh, in case you haven't priced organic lemons lately, uh, that's a pricey proposition in itself, uh, as opposed to using the, uh, sorry, boy, I had that position wrong. That, that, that's a wrong commercial, and it's not commercial anyway. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and I'm going to tell you about it. But so far, my experience has been <laughs> that it freaking works, not in a negative way. But uh, what it does, what lemon does, and if you think about when you eat fish, one of the reasons why we put lemon on fish is to help digest the fish itself. So um, uh, lemon has been used as a digestive aid for literally throughout of all, all of history. And what uh, doTERRA is doing is basically just a, a, a concentrated essential oil of the, the product itself. So <clears throat> one thing I will tell you is to follow the directions with dosing. Because if you put too many uh, in it, uh, it goes from tasting like a, you know, a, a nice lemony water uh, to lemon peel. So you don't want to go that far. <laughs> so too much can be a bad thing. Think salt. Okay. Too much is a bad thing. Um, but uh, one of the other things that I noticed about it is throughout the day, now I spend a lot of time in front of a computer uh, working on videos. And so... You know, I usually have something to drink nearby. I try not to have snacks in front of me because it makes a mess all over the computer, and that's the last thing I need is a snack all day long. But I do like to have liquids around uh, because the tendency is to, like, neglect those things when you're doing that kind of work, and then you end up getting yourself in a, a serious problem. So <clears throat> I keep water at hand, and uh, I have been using that throughout the day, and I noticed mid-afternoon when I would normally, you know, you would normally expect to be getting somewhat snackish, um, fresh glass with a few drops of this in it uh, and that really curbs that until I can get to a stopping point to where I can actually sit down and have like you know a proper snack or a proper meal depending on what the time is. So uh, definitely probably not the the best way to handle your food consumption but if you are a person who is working and you don't often have time to actually stop once you start a process um, you know, this is just what, how I grew up. I grew up working in a, a, the service industry. My uh, parents had a, a service station and a repair shop. And so you ate when you had chance. And that's how I grew up. And then I've worked in all kinds of other industries that also had the same rule. You ate when you had the chance. And so I'm carrying that over to my adult life because I love the fact that, you know, that's how things work. It's just feels comfortable, I guess. But um, having a product like this, and I'm trying to get this situated right because I literally pick it up the wrong way every time, and it's it's still in my hand. I just keep fiddling with it because I'm six. Um, <clears throat> this product alone, if you if you're really not interested in anything beyond you know something simple like this, uh, just as a way to see if it works, this is where I would start. I, I want to be quite honest with you. This is where I personally would start um, because the results are pretty much immediate. So uh, in a positive way, again, I don't want the, this is not a cleanse. Okay. This is a digestive aid. So this is not going to be, you know, make sure you're near a toilet kind of situation. It's not like that at all. If uh, you're used to drinking water in the morning, uh, this is just going to enhance the experience that drinking uh, water on an empty stomach provides. Uh, I would highly recommend it uh, because literally it will, it'll start your day off on the right foot. So, all right. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And uh, next video will be in about a week, I guess. I'm going to do the first week of taking the uh, uh, Cleanse and Restore kit. Uh, and then we'll, you know, again, we'll, I'll hop on here and I'll, I'll let you know how progress goes. So, all right. Thanks for stopping in. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.